again, everybody, and welcome into another edition of Peacocks on the Prowl, presented by Mona's Fire Pit. Zach Carlisle here with you. It's October. That means the basketball season's coming up, and for that, we're pleased to be joined by senior Carson Parker as Peacock Men's Hoops getting going uh, with the season. Carson, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Well, upcoming season, senior year for you. Practice, just getting going for real uh, with the team. How's that been going? What have you seen from the team so yeah. far? About a week into practice now, and uh, guys are really getting after it. We're kind of getting after each other, which is good. It's been real competitive, um, good intensity at practice, good pace with practice. Uh, so things are going well. A lot of learning to do still, but guys are catching on fast and happy to be there. So I think the biggest question everybody wants to know is, how in the world do you replace five seniors? And you guys, maybe people know this, maybe people don't. There's a lot of talent on this mm. team coming back from a year ago. What have you seen, and how do you feel like you guys are going to be as you move forward as the season starts? Yeah, yeah um, I mean, obviously it's tough to replace five guys who have been there for four years, but we have we have a good mix of returners and then guys who are new guys that are coming in too that are – fitting in, learning the system that are, I mean, they're giving it their all. They're happy to be there. They want to be there. They want to, they want to win. They want to have fun. So, I mean, it's been a good mix of the returners kind of helping them along and then those guys giving us a different kind of look, different energy. So it's been good. Let's talk specifically about the guard position yourself back, but then you've got some other guys and some new faces uh, that are going to be with you at the guard position. What have you seen from that group as you guys prepare to, to handle the ball this season? Yeah, um, I mean, Cam and I returned from last year, which um, we, we have experience bringing back, which we can help the new guys along. But, I mean, we've got Joe, who's a freshman, and then Jarese and Peggs, who were redshirts last year, who will play the guards for us as well. And, I mean, they're... They put in a lot of work. They're, they've been waiting for this moment, waiting for their time. So, I mean, I have high expectations for them, and I know they're looking forward to the season, too. On the interior, Mitch Amy's back, Mua Conquo's back, a few faces. Jordan Hayes gone, obviously, uh, the defensive player of the year from last year. But uh, some key pieces back inside for your team. How do you feel about the post place? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're battling with each other each and every day. They make each other better. I mean, th those... Those are the two really our only inside presence right now. But so we we'll, we we'll rely heavy on them all year, and uh, I mean, they're up for the challenge. So they've been doing well so far. They'll they'll fit in nice for sure. So with the preseason comes the preseason poll. That's going to be coming out here real shortly. Yeah. And uh, is that something that wherever you guys are picked, is that something that's on your mind as the, as the season gets going? I mean, you guys in the NSIC championship game last year, depending on where you're picked, will that be something that you guys will think of as you get going in the season? I mean, last year it definitely was on our mind just because we felt like we were disrespected and where they picked us at the preseason. And, I mean, this year we'll just have to wait and see where they pick us. But it doesn't matter a whole lot to us because, I mean, they none of them are playing the game. They're just picking whatever they, whatever they do. So we'll – We'll continue to do our thing and go out every night and compete and try to get back to where we were last year. This is the senior year for you. I can't believe it's already yep. been your fourth year uh, at Upper Iowa. And, and obviously you've had some fantastic moments in the first mm -hmm. three years. What are some of the things you're looking forward to the most in your final year at Upper Iowa? I would just say enjoying kind of all the little things, just enjoying every last, every first last, everything like that and stuff like that. But We've got a good group of guys that we're all we're meshing well together, and I'm just looking forward to having fun with them and just playing the sport I've always loved and giving it one last one last go. Two years ago, you guys started the year in California. Mm. This year, you get to start the year in California. What's that trip like? What are you looking forward to? That's going to be a lot of fun for your team yeah. to head out west. Yeah, I mean, it's early in the season for sure, but it's a good opportunity for us to start the season off strong. I know two years ago, we had a tough road out there, but um, this year we're looking to start off the season how we expect to. And no, it's just a great experience for all the guys. You know, you get to see a different part of the country and spend a day at Disney World and stuff like that. So it's a lot of fun. You get to have a lot of fun with your teammates and coaches and whatnot. But the main thing is, is getting down to business out there and starting the season off how we want to. And finally, as you get going in this season, will creep up very, very quickly. Uh, is there any sort of goals that you guys have set uh, coming into the season? What sort of things do you guys want to accomplish as a team, individually, things mm -hmm. like that? Team-wise, I mean, uh, finish, have a home, have a home playoff game again. That's always a goal for us, and then make it back to that championship game, and hopefully be on the other end of that. And then, obviously, the ultimate goal is to make the national tournament, and we feel 
very strong about that and that we can do it again and maybe make some more noise as we did last year. Well, Carson, can't wait to get this season started. Thanks for joining us today and best of luck yep, this year. Thank you. Carson Parker with us. Men's basketball season starts in a couple of weeks. They head to California and then they've got their first home game. We got to wait till Thanksgiving weekend to see the Peacocks at home November 25th. So that's going to do it for us this week. I'm Zach Carlisle. We'll talk to you next week on Peacocks on the Prowl presented by Monus Fire Pit.